Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Learn. In today's session, we will be learning about coordinate geometry. Did you ever think of bridging the gap between shapes and equations and found yourself clueless? Well, not anymore. Buckle up, because Simple Learn brings you an interesting tutorial on coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry, also known as Cartesian geometry, is like a secret map for this battlefield. It lets us represent geometric shapes using numbers and algebraic equations. Pretty cool, right? Today, we'll learn how to set up a coordinate plane, which is basically a grid system where every point has a unique address. So, are you ready to become a coordinate geometry master? Let's get started. But before we begin, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified on our future content. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just a quick info for you. If you want to upskill yourself, master data science skills, land your dream job, or grow your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data science programs. Simply Learn offers a data science postgraduate program from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive analytics, predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a data science program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to Session 3, Coordinate Geometry. In this lesson, we're going to explain the fundamentals of coordinate geometry and its users. Define coordinate plane and coordinates of a point in coordinate geometry. Examine the distance and slope formulae used in coordinate geometry and list the various coordinate geometry formulas and their components. Introduction to coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry is the study of geometric figures by plotting them on coordinate axis. It is the branch of mathematics that assists in presenting geometry figures on a two-dimensional plane and learn the properties of these figures. Figures like straight line, curves, circles, ellipses, hyperbola, and polygons can be easily drawn and presented to scale in coordinate axis. It also aids in algebraic computation and study of the geometric figure attributes using the coordinate system. The starting point of the coordinate system are zero degrees of Greenwich longitude and zero degrees of equator latitude. Coordinate plane. A Cartesian plane divides the plane space into two dimensions and is useful for easily locating the points. It is also referred to as a coordinate plane. The two axes of the coordinate plane are horizontal x-axis and vertical y-axis. These coordinate axes divide the plane into four quadrants, and the point of intersection of these axes is the original zero com zero. Any point in the coordinate plane is referred to by a point x comma y where x and y values are the position of the point with reference to x-axis and y-axis, respectively. Coordinate plane properties. The origin point O is the intersection of the x-axis and the y-axis and has coordinates 0, 0. 
the x-axis to the right and to the left are positive x-axis and negative x-axis, respectively, while y-axis above and below. The origin, O, are the positive and negative y-axis, respectively. The point presented in this first quadrant has both x and y as positive values. While the point represented in the second quadrant is a negative x and a positive y value, and is plotted with reference to a negative x and a positive y axis. The point present in the third quadrant that is negative x and negative y is plotted with reference to a negative x axis and a negative y axis. And the point in the fourth quadrant is presented as a positive x and a negative y value and plotted with reference to a positive x axis and a negative y axis. A coordinate is an address which helps to locate a point in space. Coordinate geometry formulas. Coordinate geometry formulas distance formula. The distance formula is used to calculate distance between two points, which is the length of the line segment connecting them. Consider two points, A and B having coordinates as x1, y1, and x2, y2, respectively. To find out the distance between point A and point B, we can use the formula as square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square, where x2 minus x1 is the change in x. Or you can say the base of this right angle triangle. And y2 minus y1 is the change in y, or the perpendicular distance of this right angle triangle. To find the distance between point A and B, we need to get the hypotenuse, hence D. The slope formula. The slope of a line, often known as its gradient, is a numerical representation of steepness and the direction of the line. It is the difference between the change in x and y coordinates change in x and y. It can be calculated by taking any two consecutive points or by using the angle that lying on the positive x-axis forms, which is this. The slope of a vertical line on an angle theta with x-axis vertical is m equals to tan theta. Key takeaways. Coordinate geometry is a discipline of mathematics that studies geometric figures using the coordinate system and assist in algebraic computation. The coordinate plane splits the plane space into two dimensions by having two axes that further divide the plane into four quadrant, with the origin 0, 0 being the point of intersection of these axes. The distance formula is used to find the distance between any two points in the coordinate plane. The slope of a line is the numerical representation of its steepness and directions. The midpoint formula is used to find a point that is halfway between two points in a coordinate plane. We have reached the end of this session on coordinate geometry. Should you need any assistance, PPT, and other resources used in this session, please let us know in the comment section below, and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.